events surrounding MF Global's bankruptcy in Washington right now. Eamon Javers is live in D.C. with the headlines. Eamon, what are we going to see? Good morning, Carl. Well, the hearing is already going on, and what you're seeing is something fascinating. It is a hearing that's really all about MF Global, but the chairman of the CFTC, Gary Gensler, has recused himself from talking about MF Global at all because of his personal relationship to John Corzine dating back to their time at Goldman Sachs together. So you're going to see senators grilling with questions about MF Global. Gensler not able to respond. He's brought some deputies up. This issue has raised the hackles of Republican senators just before the hearing. Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama issued a letter to the inspector general asking for an investigation into how the CFTC has handled the MF Global issue. He said thousands of customers have been denied access to their funds, and as a consequence, many are facing tremendous hardships. And in addition, Senator Pat Roberts of Kansas was grilling Senator uh, was grilling Chairman Gensler, that is, at the hearing already this morning. Take a listen to what Pat Roberts had to say. We must find out what happened with MF Global. And fortunately, the manner in which Mr. Gensler chose to step aside or recuse himself has raised more questions than it has answered. Why did he not recuse himself from MF Global issues from the beginning of his term if there was a conflict based on his previous relationship? Why did he wait until, until November 3 to decide he should step aside instead of doing it immediately on October 31 when everything came unraveled and MF Global declared bankruptcy? Now, the question in all of this, Carl, is where is John Corzine? We have not seen him publicly talking about the failure at MF Global. He has been invited to testify on Capitol Hill about all of this next week. The question is whether he'll show up, what he might say in public if he does resurface, Carl. It's our Twitter question for today, of course. Uh, where is John Corzine at CNBC Squawk ST? And Simon and I are, are literally both reading, I can see, the same op-ed in the journal today, all about Gensler and that very question yeah. of why why he decided that this was the time to recuse himself and not from the very beginning when, as the when, Congress when, when they specifically say that Corzine was named CEO of the company in part because of his relationship with Gensler and his ability to navigate through and influence the rules that would affect MF Global. And, of and course, it became, it became a prime dealer during the period, uh, during the period of Corzine and, indeed, Gensler. With the One of the firm. key questions in all this, Simon, is to what extent was Corzine personally lobbying in Washington to make sure that MF Global had the ability to make the enormous bets that it made on European debt that turned out to be so bad? To what extent was Corzine personally responsible for pushing the leverage up at MF Global and clearing the regulatory thickets in Washington to make sure that that could go ahead and happen? But from a regulatory standpoint, and that's not Corzine's issue. He's just another player in the private sector. That's Gensler's issue, isn't it? The conflict of interest. He's the guy that should be actually standing on Capitol Hill and explaining exactly what went on. And fundamentally, they failed because they didn't protect those segregated funds. The regulator has failed quite clearly. Well, that's the question that we're going to get in today's hearing. And that's why it's so fascinating that right now Gary Gensler is sitting before a Senate committee testifying on this issue. They're going to want to ask him all the questions. But because of this recusal, he's not going to be able to necessarily answer all those questions. He's brought up, as I said, a deputy to handle all the MF Global questions. So he's going to have to respond sort of via a cutout here because he's now stepped away in that letter to Senator Pat Roberts that he did issue. Uh, he said he's not going to handle any MF Global uh, questions, although he did sit in on some of the early meetings on the MF Global failure. At some point, he decided, I better not do this anymore because probably there was so much public outcry Amen. about MF Global, he realized it was a problem. Forgive me, I don't understand. I can understand why the guy recuses himself from what is going on now, from 